welcome to tangling along with me we are continuing on tanglepatterns.com and today it is this pattern that we're going to do let's open up the book and find a place for this one this one is yet another grid tangle so i'm using my micron p and in black and i am going to pop it down here and i'm gonna make my grid so first of all i am Drawing up this line here for my first grid line. There we go. And I'm just gonna aura that line here for making my grid. And don't make your grid too small because um, then it will be hard to work with. I think I'm going to take this line here and aura that for a grid there we go so that's the first step now we are going to put a rice corn shape in each of these one uh, so first we are going to make one that is straight up like that in the next one we are tilting it and then we go back we go back to the straight up so just like a chisser chisser board checker board checker board oh that was hard today i'm doing it uh what you call that in each room a different thing and then I'm doing the opposite in the room underneath so here we want one that is lying one that is standing and so on like that and now they uh, actually divided their um, lines in several. Um, I am thinking of doing... Yeah, I need to do it like they did. So from each of these uh, rice shapes we have a straight line. Let's start with that one. So a straight line from the point and out. Actually, you could go from the point to the right shape in the other box here. So from the point to the right shape. I'm just taking my time with this. Going down here and to the side. So that's the first part. Um, and then the ones that is lying down, I'm starting with them. So from the top point, um, I need to figure out how to do this because they, um, okay, so they are kind of uh, making it hit around the middle of this line here. So, but I'm only, uh, and now I did it wrong. 
it should be from here and out. Um, let's skip this one and try here. So from here to around the middle, so from the point to around the middle, and I'm doing that from each point and out. Don't look at that, it's a mistake. What well, is not a mistake, but a happy accident or something like that, but we will see how to work around with that one. First of all, I'm going from the point here and out to around the middle of the line. So from the point to the around the middle of the line. I did it wrong on that one as well. Uh, I'm not good at this pattern. From the point and out. Not from the middle and out. So this one is going to be a crazy one because I did it wrong here and there. I know that we don't have mistakes and stuff like that, but sometimes we do things that was not supposed to be like that. I'm going to work down here because I have I oops here and I oops here, so I'm just gonna start here. So these lines you want to uh continue these lines out until they hit the other lines here. So these lines need to go out like that. So this line goes out. This line goes out. Um, here and you see they kind of hit um, this little line here You might have to do this a tiny bit bigger the first time and I would advise you to go and look at the step out yourself that could help you getting it right. I do will have to try this one one more time one day, uh, but not right now. I actually think it turns out pretty neat. I missed one down here, even though that I had a minor blooper here and there. Um, it's a very confusing pattern, but I actually think I like it. Um, and kind of uh, hiding my bloopers here 
but I'm going to go in and color in these rice corn shapes here to give it a little more drama than it has. This will also bring out parts of the pattern so they will be a little more visible. Uh, down here. And I'm going to do it the other way around as well. There we go. I'm actually going to leave it like that. Um, in the step out, they were shading these lines here where they are going out. Um, I might have to do that, but I'm afraid that this minor thing here would go wrong. So you can see that is, huh, that's a pattern. Um, I am going to probably in some shading here around these rice corns I think just pop in some graphite around them that using my tatillon for my charcoal no my graphite I'm just softening out this shading here very much dramery this page here. I'm gonna take my white charcoal and I have these fun shapes here. I'm gonna pop in a tiny bit of white in these. Um, and then just using my tatillon to soften it out. there. So that is the pattern for today. Um, actually I think it came out pretty neat even though that I made a mis bit of a miss, miss right there. Um, but I don't think you see it. So that is the pattern for today. It was this pattern right here. Thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude.